Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Libra. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Luke. Any placement. Flip and switch the energy take what resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Libra reading. Happy birthday. Anything you need to know about me will be down below. Or in my bio to save you from being scammed, the link to book a reading. Or my actual social media platforms. Let's see. What's the tea for Libra, please? I hope you all are enjoying your birthday season. What we got for Libra? What does Libra need to know? We got trust, divine timing. Greater forces are working at play. Interesting. Refe release control. All is working out for your highest good. All right, Libra, look like you need to practice patience or it's time for something to come into fruition. Focusing on the daily grind, present and attracting, abundance, gratitude, tranquility, success, positivity. Hell yeah, Libra, look like you just need to focus on you and bringing these blessings. Head over heart for some of you. Some of you are going to have to take your emotions out of a situation. All right, let's see for Libra, what's the team? North Node, some of you are headed to fame and fortune. Some of you are walking in your purpose. Fate, evolution, finding life path, destiny, karmic challenges, and rewards. Or oh, this is someone you're dealing with. Some of you feel like you're right where you need to be in order to obtain some kind of success. All right, Libra. Let's see. What's the tea for Libra, please? But that's all, folks. Bottom of the deck, spirit guides. Right behind all this beauty. Assistance, divine guidance, signs and synchronicities, guardianship. All right, listen. Libra, what I'm gathering is you're right where you need to be. You're walking in your purpose and you need to stay focused. For some of you, I'm hearing head over heart, which means something could be pulling on you, may be unfavorable, may not be the usual you, the way you usually would go about a situation. Definitely connected to a lover, a twin flame, Gemini energy for some of you, or a soulmate, or marriage. Interesting. Definitely dealing with love. Don't get distracted, Libra. Some of you have met someone new and it's helping you to heal, pro propelling you into this new timeline. Or oh, it's coming. Some of you could be waiting on something you feel like you desire. You should be further ahead. Some of you are already stars. Yes, if I was to think of two Libras that I know off the bat, Usher's a Libra, Cardi B's a Libra. So, and these are already stars. So some of you, you're, you're walking in your purpose. You're where you should be. You're focusing on abundance, tranquility, and success. Let's see. Trust divine timing for Libra. I actually know two Libras on this tarot platform. Uh, Shouts out to Unique Tarot and... Um, I think her name is Empress Bella. Let's see. Trust divine timing for Libra. Eight of Cups sideways facing the past. To the left, to the left. Pisces energy. Some of you, this could be the inability to completely let go of a person or the memory, the trauma of that person or situation or even abandonment issues you're not quite done healing from. So trust issues may show up here. Literally clarifying a card that says trust divine timing. Some of you, something has deeply wounded you in regards to someone walking out on you. It could be a child's father, child's mother, your own mother, your own father. Okay. Lack of affection. Heavy on the abandonment issues. Could it definitely be a partner for a lot of you. Some of you are waiting for someone to resurface in your life. You got to stay focused on you. Okay. Hmm. All that glitters is not gold. Some of you have to let a situation go in order to excel. It's a release control. Powerful. Powerful clarification. 
Release control and I read cards in every direction. This is facing the left. Some of you have to let a situation, this may even be a child. Let's say they're going off to college or they want to go into the military or they want to choose artistry and you want them to be a doctor or a lawyer or whatever. You got to let whatever, because they have their own purpose, their own destiny, their own walk of life, just as you do. For those that have children that you may have a grip on. I'm not trying to tell you how to raise your kids. I'm just reading these cards. Some of you have to release control of your of your child choosing their own path. We're talking about tarot and spirituality. It's all about destiny and journeys in tarot. Okay. All right. Some of you, this is where you are in your own life. Why me? Why did this happen to me? Why did I experience it this way? Why did, why did this have to be? unfavorable that's going to make you be the person you're destined to become here with north node okay definitely a lot of maternal issues for some of you your mother or your own parenting no shade and straight shoot over here so some of you could be wanting to do to to do better to be more affectionate with your own children pick your own children today <laughs> so parenting so either you're the child in the situation whether you're an adult or not you have your own issues with your your parents or your mother in particular, or a mother figure, grandmother, auntie, or perhaps you need to, you should reevaluate how you show up in your child's life. All right, present. For a lot of you, this is some kind of emotional thing you gotta let go of or completely release. Present. What tried to jump out was the queen of wands. Now, for some of you, you're in a dynamic where there's a choice between two, or you're in this energy of wanting to choose like a softer approach versus a very fiery assertive approach it's giving submission versus assertion for some of you and that could be any dynamic or aspect of your life let's get a jumper present for libra the jumper is a betrayal ten of swords in reverse gemini energy y'all cars are doing a whole lot of shifting it's repressed trauma for some of you lack of closure i get it some of you got to push forward despite an apology not being said. Understanding, clarity, closure, why me, why this way. What they say, the strongest thing you can do is to forgive someone that has never apologized to you. That takes strength. Is. Or well, accept the sorry you never got. And what you're going to need in order to do that is understanding of cycles and lessons. Why am I reading so deep today? Lord have mercy. Okay. Some of you, someone that hurt you want back in your life. They want to heal the situation. Some of you are on your healing journey. Some of you, the worst is over is in reverse, which means you could have backtracked or let someone back in your life that parent, friend, lover, or foe or boss. You went back. You got to stay focused on moving forward in the present. Some of you, this ain't got nothing to do with a letting someone back in or a situation resurface. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like it's the Eight of Cups sideways. You have the inability to release the memory of what you've experienced. You've already survived that. You've already overcome that. That has already happened, E.D., you're still in this ing energy and that's not fair to you north node for libra yeah it's repressed trauma Ooh, 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 lord repressed trauma five of cups to the moon a lot of things weighing on your subconscious you may even feel bad or guilty for some of the decisions that you've made recently or a long time ago regardless the fact still stands you got to move forward What's North Node for Libra? I feel like you're disappointed in yourself. But you know what? For some of you. North Node with Three of Pentacles. You have contracts. You have friendships. You have networking opportunities. You have things that are destined for you in the future that will bring you a great deal of success. Like-minded individuals and some kind of firm, stable foundation. In the future, with present right here now, North Node is always future energy in your birth chart. It's who you're destined to become, destiny, the life you're destined to have. Fate, what will you do when situations show up for you? What paths will you choose? 
Right now, some of you are choosing. Is it recollection where you keep thinking about the same shit or you going back on it? Nostalgia, reminiscing. Some of you gotta let that shit go. Woo, I didn't even look at the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups, everything I just said. Nostalgia, thinking about the past. Scorpio energy, check your birth chart. Oh my God, childhood, friends. Inner circle, people around you, like-minded individuals, feeling alone, feeling like there's no one that connects with you. Some of you have to learn to walk the lone wolf path. Child, what? Libra, wherever you are in this timeline, please hear me roar. It is the future that matters. None of this stuff that you've already overcome, you, you previously experienced. I don't care if it, this was a lesson from yesterday. It's over with. As simple as that, I don't even try to sound as insensitive as I'm sounding out because it could be it could be very hurtful. Fact still stands. You're you're already here. You've overcome it. It happened. There's nothing you can do about that. Spirit guys for Libra at the bottom of the day. Spirit. Knight of Pentacles sideways facing the future to the right. This is slow and steady. This is gradual energy, consistencies, persistence in moving forward and working on self. Someone could be trying to slow you down as well, or something can be slowing you down. Proper planning, laying down the right foundation, investing in yourself, investing financially for some of you. Taurus energy, heavy Taurus energy. Capricorn to Two of Pentacles. There's that back and forth procrastination, wavy, uncertainty energy, or you're in a situation where someone's with somebody, they're juggling you. And that's blocking you from moving forward. They're slow to commit. Your spirit guys is telling you this person is not yet ready for commitment. I'm not ready yet. I'm not yet ready to commit. So let me get out of stagnant, uncertainty energy. Some of you are dating someone, or you're dealing with someone, and it's it's, it's not moving. It's like that's that's where they want to keep it. Friends with benefits, a date here and there, but that's really it for them. They're afraid to commit. Knight of Pentacles, sideways. And they're inconsistent or they're consistently inconsistent, if that makes sense. I'm going to make it make sense. They may continuously check on you. You can count on them to check on you. But them doing it in a way that's daily or nightly or every two days, it'll go from every two days to once a week, to every day, to every blue moon. You can count on hearing from this person, but you cannot count on consistency. Whatever this is, it's wishy-washy if this is some kind of dating dynamic or you're the one doing this. Now, for others of you, someone could be trying to slow you down via spell work with hexes and curses, so on and so forth. You need to continue to push forward. I didn't really want to get into that. Look like some of you are juggling spell work, battling someone here. But fate still stands. North Node, Three of Pentacles, Contract, it's yours. It's written in the stars. It's preordained. Don't worry about none of, no, don't worry about none of this. You can trust in the universe that you're going to get to where you're supposed to be whoever you are whatever the situation is if you're hexing and cursing you you're gonna get trust what you desire just period because y'all get that energy a lot but for the rest of you you gotta let go of whatever this is and continue to push forward it's getting redundant so this is y'all reading till next time peace